So what is Amazon Web Services Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC, and why should you use it? In the world before the VPC, if you wanted to create compute resources within AWS, you would choose an EC2 instance, you might surround it with a security group, and connect it to the internet. In this case, we have a web server. Now we want to make our system a little more complicated, have our web server talk to an application layer. To do that, we tie the two together via their IP addresses. Each had a private IP address, and each had a public IP address. But again, the security is being maintained by the security group surrounding each one of them. And then finally, if this was a traditional web application, it would have a database server. And again, it would have its own security group. So this was fine, this was secure, it worked pretty well. As we created more of these, we create more of these stacks, and even more. But it became difficult to keep track of this. Amazon also learned that as enterprises were looking to move to the cloud, they wanted to have their own virtual networks themselves. They wanted to be in control of these networks and guarantee their own layers of security. So Amazon created the virtual private cloud. What this is, is a section of Amazon's software-defined network in which you designate an IP address range and Amazon gives control of this network over to you. So within the network, you can subdivide it into subnetworks. And this can be a completely secure compute environment where no one can get in, no one can get out. If there's occasions that you absolutely have to have internet connectivity, you can attach an internet gateway to your virtual private cloud and allow processes to interact with the internet. If you need to access data or capabilities at the data center, you can create a virtual private gateway and over a VPN connection, access your data or interact with other applications. So the virtual private cloud becomes Amazon software defined network that is under your control. You can create the layers of security you need both for your application and to remain in compliance with whatever security systems your industry requires. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Please don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials. And be sure to like us on Facebook.